India has issued a no-time warning for a period from 16th May to 30th May, for a designated area of 330 km, which is expected to be a test of a surface-to-air missile system. Larsen and Tubro has clarified, that Zora a light tank will not borrow the chassis or hull from the K-9 Vajra howitzer, and it is using a brand new design provided by DRDO. Bengaluru-based firm Galaxy has successfully conducted trials of its synthetic aperture radar technology on a high-altitude pseudo-satellite platform developed by the National Aerospace Laboratories. DRDO has released an expression of interest for the identification of development come production partner for the indigenous electronic warfare suite for Super Shukhoi upgrade program. Indian drone manufacturer Rafi M Fiber is all set to showcase its most innovative products at the world's premier land and air defense exhibition Euro Satery 2024 in Paris. A high-level delegation from the Philippines Navy, Philippines Coast Guard and Department of National Defense were briefed on the Dhruv Naval Advanced Light Helicopter on board the Indian Navy ship INS Shakti. UAE's Edge Group has unveiled its Hunter 5 loitering munition with a video showing its first test flight. The head of Saab's Future Programs Unit has said, that conceptual studies has started on the next generation air combat system that will replace the Gripen knee, and it will be in similar weight class as the Russian Su-75. The program director leading the Tejas Mark II program has made it clear, that the initial design of the Tejas Mark II prioritizes a single pilot configuration, however, while a twin-seater variant wasn't part of the initial plan, recent developments indicate that the Aeronautical Development Agency is open to develop a twin-seater Tejas Mark II if requested by the Indian Air Force. While envisioned primarily as an air superiority fighter, the potential exists for future variants catering to electronic warfare variant, and a twin-seater variant with a dedicated weapon systems officer could prove advantageous in such a scenario. Eyeing the $20 billion MRFA tender, Boeing has not only offered its top-of-the-line weapon systems with an India-specific F-18 and F-15 EX fighter jets but is also open to integrate Indian-made weapons like the Astra series of air-to-air -air missiles, smart anti-airfield weapon, and next-generation anti-ship missile. It could be a significant advantage for Boeing in the competitive MRFA competition, as Boeing is showcasing its flexibility by offering both advanced American weaponry and compatibility with Indian-developed weapon systems. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has announced plans to develop a full-scale indigenous conventional submarine design by 2028, that will be undertaken in collaboration with the Indian Navy's Warship Design Bureau. The new submarine design will be for a 3,000-ton vessel, that will incorporate several cutting-edge technologies like air-independent propulsion system and lithium-ion batteries and pump jet propulsion. The Indian Navy is in talks with the gas turbine research establishment to develop a new and improved variant of the Cavalry Marine gas turbine, that would be a suitable candidate for powering medium-class warships. The Navy is also exploring the co-development of electric propulsion systems for larger vessels in collaboration with the United Kingdom, and is also considering a modified version of the engine that will be developed for the AMCA Mark II program as a future marine gas turbine option for high power requirements. Today's Top 3 Comments